Uh, I'm James Barr. I'm a PhD student at University of South Australia uh, with the Barbara Hardy Institute and School of Engineering. Uh, we're working on a trial to investigate uh, these bent leg openers, an alternative tyne uh, narrow point opener to reduce soil throw and soil layer mixing and also looking at creating some data for us to validate a soil movement model using uh, discrete element modelling. Discrete element modelling is a computer model that uses a series of small particles to model how soil moves and it calculates the interactions between each of these small particles. Uh, the idea is that the foot is offset from the shank so the loosened soil has limited interactions with the shank. Um, with a straight opener the soil will travel up this straight shank and will be thrown sideways inverting the soil and creating interactions with the adjacent seed rows. The, the basic speed that we're looking at is 8 kilometres an hour and that's typically what most tine seeding systems are set up as. From there we're going to increase to 11 and to 14 kilometres an hour and uh, the idea is that this bent leg opener is less sensitive to speed. Um, it maintains a constant amount of soil flowing back into the furrow and doesn't throw more soil sideways as the speed increases. So as lateral soil throw increases what happens is it creates interactions with the adjacent rows and what that does is it can uh, increase soil cover over the, the neighbouring row and therefore increase seeding depth. It can also throw soil applied herbicides from the surface of the soil into the next row and reduce crop safety. It's quite new. Um, the idea comes from a South African farmer called Danny Rossell. One of the common questions we get is about the residue handling with these bent leg openers and because it's so early days I haven't been able to answer them so far but from what we can see so far is that the the sharp chamfer edge is actually pretty bad for laying straw uh, so it, it tends to catch it and the straw bends over the, this knife edge um, so that may be a bit of an issue there's ways to get around it and they'll have to be looked at in the future. We've chosen a canola stubble because there's generally uh, less residue than a cereal crop because we want to be taking surface soil scans with our laser scanner to get the soil throw and the, the backfill and any residue can make that quite difficult. We've got a laser scanner that sits on a um, worm drive that's battery powered and we can take a laser scan over one metre. Uh, when we do this we'll, we'll do a scan over the surface of the soil once the tines pass through. Then we'll remove the loosened soil and take another scan. And what this does is it gives us the um, top soil profile with the soil throw and the um, amount of soil backfill into the furrow. And then when we remove the loose soil we get the, the bottom furrow shape. And that way we can work out how large the furrow that this opener is creating and um, get a reference to this loosened area to the seed placement. I guess these are sort of trying to bridge the gap between tine and discs and one of the one of the biggest advantage of the disc openers is being able to travel faster and that's that's selling it to a lot of farmers but uh, they do have a lot of limitations particularly working in some stickier soil conditions or um, laying down residue straw conditions where the straw is hair pinned into the furrow. So uh, yeah I guess the idea is to um, look at a, a simple tine version that will work in a larger range of uh, larger range of soil conditions and also is probably cheaper to make.